Well, we continue tracking the activity here in the borderland that is producing thunderstorms all around us. This water vapor imagery kind of shows you the loop of the last, uh, I would say, 15 hours or so. And this orange that you see here is kind of the steam and the blowing up of the storms that we have across the area. We've been watching the winds, but it's not just the winds, the dew points as well. We are feeling steamy and humid across the area, and that's partially to blame. Here's a look now at our future track computer model starting us at 6 o'clock in the evening. You notice it's kind of downplaying a little bit of the energy that we have, pushing it closer to Silver City. As we go through the overnight hours until the early part of your Sunday, here's 8 o'clock in the morning. It keeps us kind of clear here, which is what we're predicting as well. The Sacramento Mountains expected to get some showers right around the noon hour. Then once we get the daytime heating kicking in, well, then that's when we start to see more of the activity, especially around the Silver City TRC area as well. Again, though, I believe this is downplaying it a little more than what we're expecting here. We're keeping a 30% chance on the board for tomorrow. And as we roll through your Monday, we start bringing in more of that moisture, all this tropical moisture, by the way, which is why it's also felt a little muggy around the area. Here's future track, the accumulations, as I mentioned, staying more over towards Van Horn. Remember, though, you don't have to stand by for the forecast. You can actually track the storms yourself just so you can get weather and traffic on the ABC7 Storm Track weather app. You can download it on the App Store or Google Play and track the radar yourself as well. 70 forecast for the rain, 30% chances for rain on Sunday, Monday, 20% chance Tuesday, and about a 10% chance for the rest of the week here. And the winds are expected not to be too bad either. We're just expecting breezy conditions Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And then after that, things calm down. Temperatures taking a nice break from our triple digits that we've seen. 96 for Sunday, and then we cool down to 92 on Monday, then back up to 94 by Wednesday, and then we end the work week with those triple digits returning to the forecast. Tonight, 69 degrees for Lamar. Mesa and Vado, La Union at 69 as well. Tomorrow, 96 for Chaparral, 96 for La Union and for Santa Teresa. Check out the forecast around El Paso tonight in the 70s mainly, and then the mid-90s coming back for the forecast tomorrow. 74 tonight, El Paso, 96 tomorrow. Las Cruces, 69 tonight, 94 for your day tomorrow. Here's the forecast for the next seven days. We'll go from 96, as I mentioned, down to 92 Monday, and then check it out. The triple digits return by Friday with a 10% chance for some showers, 102 for for next weekend.